I'm absolutely gutted. This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Welcome back, folks. I thought that we would do this flower experiment again, but this time I'm going to dry the flowers. Now I picked these pink rhododendrons. I've got loads of these in the garden and they look beautiful. So I thought that we would try and dry these out. Now what I've got, because I've done a little bit of research this time, plus reading some of your lovely comments, I've got myself some of these. Yep, silica gel beads. Before any of this happened, I never even knew that silica gel beads even existed. But clearly, they do. Okay, are we ready for these? <laughs> Let's hope these ones don't go mouldy, eh? Right, so I've placed these in here nice and neatly and I've got the silica beads on the bottom and I'm now gonna sprinkle some of them around the edges and then just be really careful and delicate because I don't want these beads to kind of ruin these flowers. So, and then I've got to try and cover the whole of this if I can. Anyone else's tape do this? Every time. Look, what is that about? Okay, so there's our flowers sealed in a nice little tub. Um, and I've got to leave this now for about two weeks. Two weeks? So it's going to be a while for me, but not for you. Now I do have some leftover flowers. So while we wait for the silica beads to work, I'm gonna try something else with these. Turns out that you can actually dip flowers in wax as well. Let's give that a bash. There we go, I've just dipped that in the wax. I'll just leave that now on the side. Uh, I might dip it again, actually. Okay, so here's our waxed flowers. Um, I did a few more off camera. Some of them have turned out quite nice, actually. Um, that's not a bad one. But like some of them, um, like this one here, he seems to be a little bit sort of crusty around the edges. It's not a great one. Um, so that's why I grabbed a few more. This one's not so bad. Um, there's a few in here that we could probably use. This one's quite cool. Not really too fond of the leaves though that I did. They look kind of waxed. Right, let's see if these flowers dressed up in melted wax turned out the way we wanted them. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, not kind of what I had in mind. Now, I have left these for a few days as opposed to the day after. 
probably nearly a week actually. Um, uh. mm. The wax. <laughs> um, yeah, it hasn't worked out. Well, that's no good. So, what about these that we set in here? Just over a week ish, something like that. So, let's see what we have. Hopefully, a better result <laughs> than what we found over there. Oh, I'm hoping that we'll have some good results in here. We've kept some nice, cool looking flowers. Oh, dear. I've just broken that bit already. So, I'm going to have to be really, really careful with this. Okay. Um,. Oh, looking good, looking good. <laughs> hey. Oh, they're definitely dry, but they look very delicate. Very, very, very delicate. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is dry as a bone and it's kept. Oh, and it's kept its color and its features. It's curled up a little bit there. I don't know if we can bend that back or not, maybe. Um, but that looks pretty nice. That set in resin is gonna look really cool. So let's just place those down. Oh, like even the green. Look at that. That is, I mean, it's dry as a bone, but it just looks, looks pretty much the same. Um, just got to be really careful getting these out. There's another one. Beautiful. So apparently you can recharge these. Um, and I think you put them in the um, oven or something. Or in the fridge. Or <laughs> somewhere. I have to read the destructions again. Um, but um, you can recharge them. And you can reuse these again. But these are absolutely awesome. These things. Um, and, and this is what they are. Silica gel. And... Whoop. And yes, rechargeable. So orange ready to use, dark green need to recharge. Oh, they're still orange, so maybe they're all right. Oh yeah, in the oven. So this is the result, folks. <laughs> Look at that. Um, so clearly, I mean, I've seen people uh, do use wax before. But clearly I've done it wrong <laughs> uh, or it just didn't work for me. But the silica beads, absolutely perfect. Look at the quality of that. Now setting this in resin is definitely going to look pretty neat. So I was having a clean up the other day and I found this. I picked this up. Woo! And I thought we could do something really cool using this lid. Now I know what you're thinking, I'm mad. Yep, yeah, I am. I was thinking maybe we could put the flowers in here with some resin and because we've got the little grooves and bumps and humps, this could turn out looking pretty cool. Then we could turn this into some kind of an ornament or a shield. Now we don't have many of these flowers because it was just kind of an experiment. So, so I bought some more off Tinternet. So I also bought some of these and these are dried lavender. Oh, they smell gorgeous. So I thought maybe we could use some of these. Also bought some of these as well. Dried petals. Hey. Eh? And a broomstick. Because I need to clean stuff up. It's not a broomstick really. It's just twigs made to look like a broomstick. But it looks kind of cool, and I thought maybe we could use some of this into this project. But you can use it as a broomstick if you want.
Now we're gonna pull the resin. <laughs> So, here we go. So far, so good. Um, it looks kind of cool, but I'm, I'm kind of worried that it's not as colourful as I'd like it. Um, you know me. It looks, it looks okay, but I'm thinking maybe a bit more colour in there would look quite cool. So I've got <laughs> some old potpourri, and I was wondering maybe I'd scatter a few of the green and the blue, not blue, red in there, and just sort of like brighten it up a bit. Now it looks more Christmassy. Who doesn't like Christmas, eh? Ah, oh my God! Okay, folks, so this is what we've got so far. I've done a couple more pours off camera because it's taken up quite a bit of resin. Um, it's... um. It's still quite nicely. There are a couple of bubbles around, but not many that you can see. It's quite difficult because obviously you can't get this in the pressure pot. <laughs> it's too big. You're going to need a bigger boat. Uh, but I'm going to carry on pouring this up right up to the level here. And uh, I'll come back to you when I've done that. Le May. So there it is, folks. Looking pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Woohoo! Now we've got to see... Oh, look, you can see the reflection of my logo. My old one, anyway. <laughs> now we've got to demold this out of this tin uh, lid, if we can. I don't know if we can or not, but let's give it a bash. No pun intended. <laughs> look at the size of this thing. Two thousand years later. So not everything that happens happens with a happy ending. It took me a while to get this resin out of this tin, and if I'd have actually thought about it, I probably shouldn't have put it in the tin in the first place. So after several hours, minutes, this happened. Yep, it broke. Oh, I couldn't believe it. I was getting it off, and it fell off onto the floor um, and then it shattered um, and then after I tried to get it out even further it just broke into bits so <laughs> I'm absolutely gutted this was gonna look so nice I had it all planned out it was gonna look really nice really big chunky kind of like you know and it would have looked really cool sat there in like a little you know plinth or something um, but hmm, I don't really think I can really salvage it, to be fair. Um, I could potentially cut a piece out of this. Somewhere, I mean, it's got a bit of a shatter mark there, but I could maybe slice a bit there and a bit there. Maybe we could do something with that bit still. <laughs> Let's give that a bash. Now, as you can see, it's pretty dusty. Now, sanding is not my best bit. It takes ages and you get covered in dust. Dust! We want this to come up like popping really nice. And then ideally, if I can add in a light to this, that will make it even jubblier. Ho oh, ho! Right, let's get cracking on some more sanding. <laughs>
Save? <laughs> this was very closely going in the bin. <laughs> I actually was not going to do this project. After that had happened, I thought to myself, no, I'm not going to do this now. I had the plan of very similar th to this, but of it being a massive circle with the uplight. Um, it's not too dissimilar. There are some errors in this because of it did get shattered. So there's a bit of shattering inside here. Um, I didn't polish it as much as I probably could have done, but it's come up all right. I think it was a fairly good save. I'm not too sure about it. It's a bit like Marmite again. <laughs> I just want to say a massive thank you to today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. And it's a great time to sign up to these guys. They're giving 85% discount only to me for you. Now, if you haven't had a VPN before, let me tell you some of the benefits of Surfshark VPN. These guys have got a hacklock ID system that basically notifies you in case your email address or password gets leaked. Now, you're going to want to know that, right? They've got a blind search, which means you can search the internet without any ads or tracking. Smart DNS? That allows you to run Surfshark on devices such as PlayStation, Xbox, Apple, and many more. Remember the other day I said to you I did a little TV show and a load of you said from the States, you can't watch it. Well, with Surfshark VPN, you can. <laughs> it's simple. Go into the system, select the country, and boom, you are now in the UK or Mexico or Spain or US, wherever. <laughs> Then you can check out my TV show on Channel 4. It's still on catch up, I think. There's tons of other advantages like checking out Netflix as well. We have shows over here in the UK that you guys in the US can't access. Ha! Huh. Guess what? You can now. 85% off plus an extra three months for free. All you gotta do is use my code using the link below, which is www.surfshark deals forward slash Nick Zemeni. These guys also offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? <laughs> www.surfshark.deals forward slash Nick Zemeni. Check them out. So there it is, my number 24. Um, I hope you like it. It is a bit strange. <laughs> There's the back. We probably should have actually, I missed a bit of a trick. I probably should have had that as the front. Uh, I don't know a lot of you are probably saying that. Probably had that as the front and then this is the back. But you know, there we go. You live and learn. Uh, and it was initially an experiment 
Um, and, you know, just trying to get those flowers to dry and cast in there. They came up all right. They've gone a bit funny. But I think the overall piece is all right. Cool, it is heavy. <laughs> Definitely worth a little two. <laughs> What's happened to Marty? That fella. Well, I won't waffle on too long because I've done that throughout the whole of this video and probably at the beginning. So I don't want to make it too long. Um, I just wanted to say apologize for not getting a video up last Saturday. Um, I know I give you a little something on Wednesday, something that some of you probably haven't seen. A little video, if you haven't seen that, go and check it out. I'll leave a link below, but it is the video I put out on Wednesday. Um, thanks for all my supporters on Patreon. You are amazing as well. Thanks for everyone that's watching this video. I really do appreciate your support. It's you guys that make this channel what it is, but I would just love to get hold of all those other people that subscribed to my channel many years ago that don't get to see half the content I produce, which is such a shame. Well, thanks again, folks. Take care. Please check out my sponsor. It's a pretty awesome discount. There's loads of other links down there for you as well where I get my music from, my resin. Oh, and you may as well just check me out on Instagram as well because I'm on there and Twitter and Facebook and TikTok. Yep, I'm on there as well. I'm wishing you a fantastic weekend. I hope to see you really soon with some cool, funky projects that I've got going on in the pipe. Take care.